Welcome to the LATS Revit tutorial series. This video will help you get started with the software. LATS Revit is an Autodesk Revit plugin built to facilitate drawing with the use of pre-built LG product blocks. Before installation, verify that your device meets the system requirements. You can visit mylghvac.com for the software or for tools and resources to guide you through getting started. Use L-A-T-S-R-E-V-I-T as the serial code. When you open the program, check the settings before entering Revit mode. You may need to reopen Revit after you request a license for the software. When you are installing the program, choose Always Load to automatically load the LATS ribbon whenever you open the Revit application. The window should look familiar to Revit users. The Revit properties and project browser windows are always shown in Revit by default. You can view the added LATS Revit ribbon in the window. Now you can open an existing floor plan to work with. Use project settings to edit project details, such as project name, unit settings, which should be set to Imperial, and design conditions for your local geographic region. Options allows you to apply a standard offset to any indoor units you have placed. The offset is the elevation from the floor you want your unit mounted at. Level, room, and space display information like elevation height, room area, as well as cooling and heating unit load. Level calculates the elevation and computation height of an entire level of the project. Room displays the area in each room automatically assign spaces to rooms in Revit. Once you have placed the spaces, you can add cooling and heating loads to them so that the system can automatically calculate a recommended number of units. If you have already automatically assigned spaces in Revit, the room names will be displayed here. We will choose to add a load to the cafeteria room for this example floor plan.
If you don't know what your room loads are, you can have Revit automatically calculate recommended loads. Now you can see that all the calculated loads are automatically incorporated in your spaces. To insert an outdoor unit, click Outdoor and choose an ODU model. For now, we will use this Multi V5 model. We may have to come back and change the size of the unit, depending on the indoor units we add. You can add accessories to your outdoor unit and place it in the plan. The red box represents the recommended clearance for the ODU. Similarly, to place an indoor unit, click Indoor and choose an IDU model and add accessories as necessary. If your floor has the wrong view range setting, you won't be able to see the IDU. To fix this, go to Properties and edit your view range. Set the top range as the level above the floor you are working on, and set the view depth as the level below. Now any added units should be within viewing range. You can adjust the model number and accessories of a particular unit at any time by clicking Properties, and selecting the unit you want to modify. To automatically place an indoor unit, you can delete the manually placed unit and go to the Indoor Unit Wizard. We will select the cafeteria room because we have previously entered a load for this space. Similarly, to place an indoor unit, click Indoor and choose an IDU model and add accessories as necessary. You can change the IDU model. Adjusting the model capacity will change the recommended number of units for the space given the load requirements. The number of rows and columns of units is adjustable. Now you can see the units in the drawing. You may adjust the ODU and IDU orientation and placement depending on your needs. You might want to rotate the units so that the liquid refrigerant pipes are facing the ODU. We will choose to make this a heat recovery system. We will place two heat recovery units to serve the indoor units. Both will be two port units. You can automatically connect the liquid pipes between the ODU and HR units by clicking Liquid Pipe and selecting the two units you want to connect. The left-hand HR unit will serve the two IDUs on the left. You can use a Y branch to connect two indoor units to a single port on the HR unit.
you can use automatic liquid pipe connections again for the HR and indoor units. You can manually connect liquid piping by right-clicking on the liquid pipe symbol on the units and selecting Draw Pipe. Make sure the pipe is set to LG Pipe in the properties. The completed system may look something like this. You can always add control accessories after IDU placement. Click on Drawing to check for warnings regarding any improper pipe connections. Run an interference check to make sure the pipe connections are okay. Click System Analysis to calculate values for additional refrigerant, difference in height, and pipe lengths. If the results are highlighted in orange, you will have to redraw or change erroneous connections. Perform the system analysis again, and now you should get a message that the system check was completed successfully. You can create equipment schedules that include all the units and pipe accessories, as well as other information, such as cooling and heating capacity. You can copy and paste the tables from this sheet onto a new sheet in your project. But do not exit out of the tab if you want to keep the data. To export GURP files for pricing, click GURP Extract. You can export your LATS Revit file to LATS HVAC by clicking here. If you have any more questions, you can access more program information in the LATS Revit manual here, or visit mylghvac.com and filter categories to LATS. This concludes the LATS Revit introduction video.